So how would this work? So you, 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 you feel that um, the computers of the next 10, 20 years, in addition to having the sort of rich interfaces they have, will have personal agents? Yeah. I mean, the way I, one of the ways I think about looking ahead into the, into the future is to try and find analogies that might actually make some, some sense, and also to look for driving forces. So the, the, one of the driving forces for the park type user interface came out just from there being uh, inexpensive ICE, uh, integrated circuits around. Start getting a proliferation of computers that are inexpensive enough for people to buy, and all of a sudden, uh, the kinds of people who might want to use computers changes completely. And so all of a sudden, you need a much easier to use user interface. There's a driving force now to do something, because it isn't just graduate students anymore. Um, to me, the driving force for agents is pervasive networking, because the techniques used on the Macintosh don't work well when you're connected up to a trillion objects scattered all over the world. You need something looking for potential objects that will further your own goals. And you need that something to be looking 24 hours a day. So uh, we think that what, what we'll have is you know, 10, 15, 20 or more uh, little agents, uh, many of them not particularly intelligent, but able to flexibly take on a goal that we have. Like an example of one is um, an agent that goes out and finds you the newspaper you'd most like to read at breakfast every morning. So all night long it works. Uh, it can touch um, dozens of different news sources, the Associated Press, New York Times, and so forth, looking for things that are relevant to you. It can go to other sources for uh, getting photographs and so forth. It can do the news gathering with a particular interest in the kinds of things that, you're, uh, uh, that you have been involved in. A headline could say, uh, new fighting in Afghanistan, or it might say your 3 o'clock meeting was canceled today, because news now could involve your own electronic mail. A sidebar might say your children slept well last night. And this is an in inter interesting example of an agent, because it's one that was built about 10 years ago. It did not require a large amount of intelligence in order to work. Its major strength was its ability to work 24 hours a day while you weren't there, and with the limited ability of doing matching against what you said you wanted and what it thought you wanted, it could do a, good, a great deal of useful work for you. 